Hi, my name is Lynn DeRose and I'm a Principal Investigator at the GE Global Research Center. I am part of the Distributed Intelligence Systems Laboratory. The team that's here is working on a project for the Veterans Administration. Hi, I'm Chris Reardon. I'm a PhD student and R&D intern at GE Global Research. This here is the Baxter robot from Rethink Robotics that we're using for a project involving sterilization of surgical implements in a hospital. So the idea of the adapt arm as well as the magnetic gripper is to separate tools from one bank and then into a several different kits. Baxter is equipped with infrared and cameras in his wrists. He's using the infrared sensor to detect the height from the table. We always build prototypes when we have new ideas and we build them in a lot of different ways. Sometimes we'll use things like Legos, but no matter what we're doing, we always try to build out a prototype because we want to make sure it's going to work before we go to the next step. It's a very short time from thought process to getting a drawing on paper to starting to build a prototype because something that's in your hands that you can actually play with and manipulate tends to give you a, a better connection for the changes that you need. Everybody has a little bit of an inventor in them. You know, everybody sees a need and that there's always something out there in the world that's annoying you and you can go out there and you can think of a way to fix it. You just have to start to play with it. Come together, build a prototype, think about what it is that you want that makes your life easier and you're on your way. 